What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am Captain Bridger, and today we are officially starting the walk-on dynasty for San Jose State University. Uh, we are getting control of the Spartans here after some major controversy that we learned from last episode. But we're getting ready to go here. We're super excited to get the ball rolling on this new journey for San Jose State. Um, week one was a bye week, so we didn't have a game to play. I already did the recruiting for that. Um, so really all we got to do is just kind of wrap up recruiting for this week, and then we will get into the game taking on the uh, Eastern Michigan Eagles for this uh, this starting season. So right off the bat, uh, our... Potential prospect halfback uh, Nicholas Newell already had a hard commit to Temple, so uh, that really sucks for us here in California. But we will go ahead and remove him from the board, and uh, we will try and see if we can maybe get a kicker. Um, I realize we didn't get a kicker in our um, on our board. That's what I'm trying to say on our board uh, last episode. So goodbye, Newell. Hello, potential kicker. I'm also realizing uh, we are... We're, we found our kicker that we're going to target here, uh, Roman Ross from Fullerton, California. He's a one-star, um, and he's the most interested in us. That kind of fits our our restrictions that we set from lap, last episode. Go take a look at that if you haven't already. But I am realizing I must have accidentally deleted a recruit that we had because um, even with adding him, we're only at 19 from our 20. Um, so I think that's kind of our bad. I'm not, I haven't decided yet. If we're going to kind of punish ourselves for that mistake or if we should find somebody else that we're looking for. But right now, yeah, we're only at 19 from our 20 max recruits. All right, I think I found the linebacker that we accidentally deleted, Jonathan Richardson here. Um, the change went up. That's the only reason why I'm thinking that uh, it was him because I, I did recruit him last week. But uh, for some reason, the, the computer's just adding on... <clears throat> Excuse me, it's adding on another 15 prospects to give us our our max of 35. But again, we're only restricting ourselves to 20. Um, and I think this is the guy that I accidentally deleted. So we'll just add him back to the board. So to be honest, what I'm going through right now, um, since there's 20 prospects, that equally gives everybody 30 minutes. And my style of recruiting, I like to try and figure out as much as I can about everybody. That way, when they're ready for their um their visits i know exactly what they want to talk about already that way i don't have to really worry too much about learning about who they are but something that uh does kind of peeve me is that like in this case running back that we're looking for brian barrow he has pretty much a guaranteed chance to walk on as a starter and he doesn't give a good god damn about playing early which that is so annoying because that's about one of the only things that we really have aside from like proximity to home. This is really the only thing we can hammer home with these kids. So anybody that has that gives any sort of shit about playing early, we're in some pretty good business here. And Martindale here is the same. It guaranteed starting spot day one and he doesn't care about it. So both of our running backs that we're targeting don't really care about playing early, which is fine, I guess. But uh we have um, we have a good grip on pretty much everything else. We we did offer both of them scholarships, so hopefully that helps us out in the long run. But um, throughout the rest of the season, we'll try and see if we can kind of sway their idea about playing early or not. So I I think I screwed up because maybe Jonathan Richardson wasn't the guy I was looking for because we did not offer him a scholarship. So I went ahead and did so in this motherfucker doesn't give a god damn that we offered him a scholarship no ch i have never seen this i have never offered somebody a scholarship and they didn't give a fuck about it <laughs> zero zero that's crazy i don't even know if i want this guy anymore that really that really bugs me <laughs> guy has a guaranteed shot to walk onto the field day one and he doesn't give a fuck that we offer him a scholarship that really pisses me off. It's also good to note that uh, Roman Ross, our potential kicker here, we are not in his top five. Uh, we're not even on his radar. So this will be our other um, other recruit that is outside of the top five. So that is our two for the season. Again, if you miss the recruiting restrictions, you can go check them out 
on uh, last episode. But that pretty much does it for recruiting. Um, I personally don't really care about showing recruiting unless you guys want to see it. So if um, if you want to see more of the actual recruiting part of it, just let me know in the comments below. Tell me what you guys want to see, and then uh, we'll make it happen. But um, at least right off the bat here, uh, I offered two scholarships, and nobody signed off the bat. But uh, we are pretty much in everybody's top five except for the kicker and then maybe maybe after after this week uh things will change but we are getting ready to go to our first game of the season to take on the eastern michigan eagles and i saw it last episode down below or a glance at it right after recording but what the fuck is this headline they're bad da -da 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 -da. A pair of cellar dwellers go at it to open 2012. That is disrespectful as shit from ESPN. But taking a look, Kirk Herbstreit's rolling with us, although Eastern Michigan is better on us on paper. Um, it looks like they had a, a bye week last week as well. Um, so we are both getting ready for our first games of the season. And... Uh, there's no point in looking at anything else because both teams are haven't even started anything yet. So, alrighty. With that being said, let's get ready for our first test. We will see you guys on the field. Before we start, one thing I did forget to uh, talk about our sliders and difficulty. Um, we are on varsity difficulty. Please don't hate on me. This is just a test to kind of get our footwork and see how things go here. If it is a little too easy, I will bump it up a little bit. But um, right now we're on varsity, eight minutes, uh, eight minute quarters. Um, I have fatigue on. I heard some people say that having fatigue off makes it a little bit more challenging. Um, but we will leave fatigue on, trying to make it a little bit more realistic. Um, the threshold is at 25. And then these are my penalty sliders. Um, I did get these from Operation Sports. I do forget the name of the user. I apologize for that. Um, the only thing I tweaked on this was um, intentional grounding. I brought it down a little bit. And roughing the passer and kicker I brought down because literally once the quarterback threw it, they would just kind of bump into each other and the quarterback would fall and it'd be a penalty. That's just a little too, too much for me because it happened like three plays in a row. So I brought those down a little bit. We'll see how they roll. Everything else I haven't touched. And then this are these are the sliders for the user. Um, my running back ability, I did uh, I did tweak that a little bit. I brought it up just a smidge. And I did bring something else up. I think it was the tackling and the rush defense. Um, these were just... There's a difference between challenging and impossible. And that's why I tweaked it. Uh, these are the setters for the uh, CPU. And I brought... I only brought down one thing. It was their rush rush defense I brought down a little bit. Because, again, there's a difference between challenging and damn near impossible. And the defense... The computer defense was just obliterating me every play. Like, I had literally had no chance to do anything. Um, so I brought it down just a little bit to give myself at least a little bit of a chance. But these are the sliders. Again, if they get too easy, I will tweak them throughout the season to make it a little bit more challenging. But that's only if it gets a little, little too rough. All right, so with that being said, now I will see you guys out on the field. All righty, guys. Here we are, Spartan Stadium in San Jose, California, getting ready for week two of the 2012 season here. This is the first time this walk-on team will step onto the field. And again, we are taking on the Eastern Michigan Eagles. Let's see what these boys can do. Hopefully it won't be too much of an ass beating on either end. Alrighty, y'all. So the Eagles won the toss and elected to defer to the second half. So we will receive the ball to start the game. And this is Sims on the return. And good God almighty is he slow. But we get a decent return out of it, bringing it out to the 40. And, uh, yeesh, sim speed must be at least, like, a 50 or something. That was slow. Another thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to let the offensive coordinator call the plays. So we're just running as the uh, ask coach feature. Um, so, yeah, that's how we're doing play calls. All righty, y'all. First down and 10 for the new season. 
Mathis in the backfield, ready to go. And we get obliterated as we throw the ball. All right, so I moved over just a little bit. I realized my angle for the TV wasn't that great, but uh, yeah, here we go. All right, second and 10. We're running a uh, 45 here to Triplet. Triplet cuts to the outside, lowers the shoulder, gains about four on the play. All right, third and six now. Mathis, I'm looking at Lake, maybe Mitchell as well. But instead, I throw it to Webb, and he gains some yards, but not enough. That'll bring up fourth down. Alrighty, first drive on defense. Let's see what we can do. And already, the Eagles get caught on a false start. All right, first and 15 after the penalty now. Oh, we had a guy right there. Come on, man. No! We're really going to get scored on the first play? No! Uh, no, they set a record on us. All right, y'all, so not the best way to start on the defensive side of the ball or on either side of the ball, really. But um, we got to shake it off. First down and 10 now for the new drive. Triplet gets the ball to the outside, cuts break, breaks loose, cuts away, and uh, we gain A on the play. Not a bad run there. All right, second and two now. Hand off up the middle to Triplet. Triplet lowers the shoulder to get the yards, and he does. Let's go. All right, first and 10, empty backfield. And, oh, that was a, such a dumb fucking throw. No. Uh, damn it. I mean, hey, we knew that this wouldn't be easy. Down 14 nothing. about halfway through the first. First down and 10. We got a receiver out there. This is Curry. And Curry gets about seven on the play after the uh, pitch and catch there from Mathis. All right, third down and three. We're running pretty much the – well, we are running the exact same play. Hopefully we can get better results this go. As Wheeler finally wants to catch it this go. Breaks a tackle, but not the other. But gains the uh, the yard to gain. First down, baby. Let's go. All right, guys, third down and 11 now after the drop pass from Webb. I don't know where to go to. All right, Webb's out there, lowers the shoulder, get the first down, let's go! Big catch there by Webb. All right, second and nine now, we are in Eagle territory. So Triplett's going to get the call up the middle, and my my lineman just completely walked by the fucking linebacker. Damn. Forced into another third and long situation here. See if we can get them to jump off, and they don't. So take the snap, and Webb's there, wide open, gets it down to the, about the 15, and gets wrestled around the 12. Let's go. Webb, two big catches there in the same drive. Look at that, wide ass open. That accuracy of Mathis is really uh, helping us out here. His power isn't much, but his accuracy is there. I think it's a 70, if I recall, from last episode. All right, yet another third and long. Our best drive of the game so far, but we're third and 11 right now. We got to get to what looks like the two and a half to get the first down. And we got Wheeler, but not even close enough for the first down. Um, we're going to go ahead and take our points here. All right, our first kick of the, uh, the season here. This guy doesn't have the power or accuracy, but Weber gets it up in oof. Just barely scoots it in, and uh, we pick up the three. So at least we come away with something here on that drive. Alrighty, back on defense here. Hopefully we can produce something a little bit better than that first drive. Oh, my God. Come on. Bro! How the fuck are you going to be there and then just dive the complete other way? What the hell? I knew this would be challenging. But I guess, I, I don't know. I guess I didn't realize that the defense would be just absolute trash. Like that trash. Like the defense is rated to 32. I understand it's going to be some work, but damn. Two plays, two touchdowns. All right, we got Wheeler out here. First down a little bit more. Big gain. Let's go. All right, second and 10. 21 seconds left to go in the first Drop back, looking, screen is successful. Triplet to the outside. 
I don't think he's going to have the speed to break it free, but he breaks the tackle, gets pushed out of bounds, and Triplett comes up with a big play here for the Spartans. As is Mathis. He's, uh, he's putting in work today, man. All right, first down and 10. This will be the last play of the quarter, and this is going to come back. That's a shame, too, because that's a good run. Holding. Fuck. All right, first down and 20 after the holding to start the second quarter. And we shake one tackle and not the other. Had some trouble there, but somehow turned it into positive yardage, even though it's just one. All right, second and long. Creeping into Eagle territory. Get rid of it, man. Fuck. All right, third and long. Um, I'm not comfortable with just about any of this. But we got a guy way downfield. Is he there? He make the catch. Make the catch. You had it in your hand. All right, disappointing offensive drive, but um, hopefully the defense can come up with something, man. Just a, a tackle, at least. Can we come up with a tackle? Can we come up with a tackle? I feel like I'm going to say this a lot, this series. I knew this was going to be difficult, but I didn't know it would be three plays, three touchdowns difficult. Alrighty, defense back on the field. Let's see, uh, let's see what we can do here. Bro, you've got to be kidding me, bruh. Should I up the tackling? Cause this is just fucking ridiculous. Again, I knew this was gonna be tough, but if we're getting the hands brought to us this bad by Eastern Michigan. Oof, this is going to be rough. As Curry's there to make the catch for us, gain of seven. Quarterback drops back, looking, and we got Curry out there by himself. Breaks the tackle, but he wasn't able to keep it in bounds, and he gets taken out. Uh, Curry's, that's uh, two big plays this drive, and I thought that was a dumb throw. I thought that corner right there would have just hawked that ball, but um, we catch a lucky break. All right. Let's see what we can do. Wheeler's right there. Lower the shoulder, bro. Come on. All right, makes it third and manageable, I suppose. All right, third and uh, third and medium here. Let's see what we can come up with. Ooh, has some trouble. I got Lake. Lake, hold on to the fucking ball, man. All right, coach is calling for us to go for it, so we're going to go for it. I don't know if this is going to be the right... Uh, right set of plays or not I'm going to send Wheeler just a little bit more out ahead and Wheeler's there to make the catch we convert on fourth down all right something positive something positive here all right play action Webb hold on to it there we go awesome Webb gets us inside the 10 over the hands of that leaping defender Good accuracy by the quarterback. That's about uh, that's about all we have. <laughs> that's all we have on this squad. Quarterback accuracy. All right, third and goal. Let's come up with something here, please, y'all, please. Oh shit! Mitchell lowers the shoulder. We're in. Woo! Thank God. We're not gonna get completely blown away here, Mitchell. The first touchdown of the season. Mathis hits as he throws. <sighs> I'm so happy we got a touchdown out of this. Okay, I am so terrified to be on defense right now. I am so terrified to be on defense. And Hagen, there we go. Hagen comes up with the first tackle of the season. Yes, we're almost done with the half, and that's our first tackle of the season. <laughs> Jeez. All right, Green, get back there. Oh, no, you're not going to. No. No! All right, this is what I mean, guys. Watch this shit. So look at Green right there, nose tackle. Gets tripped up. Quarterback throws it. Runs into him, and he gets brought down like that. That is what I'm talking about. That is complete horseshit. 
Because there is no way that that is, is realistic whatsoever. So, to be honest, like, based off of that alone, I'm probably just going to bring it down to the default 50. Because that, that is unacceptable. That That is not rough in the passer whatsoever. All right, just so y'all see, so you don't think I'm cheating. Rough in the passer is at 50. Kicker is at 50. Trying to pump up the less than 100 people in the stands. And Green was almost there for the tackle, but looks like Cole Webb comes up with a big tackle there. Oh, bro, come on. Put your hands up. Nixon, come on, man. That's an easy pick right there. All right, so defense does make a stop, which I am very happy about. Um, punt went out of bounds, so we have it first and 10 from the 20. Minute left to go in the uh, first half. And Lake comes up with a big catch. Does he have the speed? Wheels, wheels, wheels. And he, he doesn't. Mathis is feeling it right now, man. And I was I was focused too much on a receiver. I didn't see the uh, the D line coming at me. That's on me. All right, but uh, second and long now. I'm looking at Curry out there. Curry is going one on one. Does he have it? Catch it! Oh fuck! Right off the fingers. That'll really suck if we had that great play and it's pretty much all for nothing. All right, third and long. I got Wheeler. Makes the catch! Yes! Second and goal. 32 seconds left, and we do have a timeout remaining. Boom, wide open. There we go. Let's go! That's how we kind of get back from this slump here. Wide ass open. Eagles screwed up on that one. All right, we just need to make a stop here. 20 seconds. That's all we need. This is going to be, we're going to guess run. There we go. We're right. There we go. Make the stop in the backfield. All right, third down and nine. This is a big play here for the defense. We need to come up with something. 16 seconds left to go. There we go. Sims. Sims. Take it to the house, Sims! Go! Oh, yeah, baby! Sims! Big play! Pick six! Pick six to end the half. Just about. Look at that. Lowers the shoulder, stays on his feet, and brings it home for the touchdown. Let's go! All right, guys, two seconds left. Let's see what we can do. Your soul is mine. Ah. Let's fucking go. Green on the big sack here to bring us into halftime. So just like that, we go down, I think it was like 28 to 3. And just like that, going into halftime, we are down at nine. Wow, what a way to turn this ball game around here. I can't wait to see what these boys can do to rally in the second half. All righty, we're back on the defensive side of the ball here. Oh, Sims! Sims, you got it again! Sims, stay on your feet! Let's fucking go! Sims coming up massive to start the second half. Quarterback hit as he throws in Sims comes up huge for us. All right, first and 10 here. What can we do? Bruh. That's what that's what we can do. Damn. All right, our defense needs to come up huge here. They're creeping a little too close to the uh, the goal line. Probably going to be a run. Yep. And can we make the stop? And we do. Andrew Owens. Did you see that? I think it said seven carries for 163 yards. That is insane. Our defense needs to come up with some fucking stops here. And I'm going to guess run. And I was right. This might be coming back. Let's see. Hell yeah. All right, second and nine now after the holding call. 
Defense needs to come up with a stop. Need it. We need it. Adams drops back. Bro. Mm. All right. They're in the red zone just outside of the 10. And uh, they Hill walk score. it right in. All right. Third and 10. We need to keep them out of field goal range. And I think they're just about there now. So big sack on Helpus and Green's got a loose football. Get it. Get it. Watson with the pickup, scoop and score, baby, scoop and score! Watson, take it down to the 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Spartans! Sims! Sims! Oh my god! Another interception by this defense. I, uh, I was so preoccupied in trying to change the play. Sims, Charles Sims comes up with his third pick of the day. This guy is unreal. All right, second and long. I'm looking at Webb running that corner route. And he's there to make the catch. There we go. Picks up a, a really good chunk of yardage there. I think I said brings up second down and six now. Look at that. Webb with the big catch. Way to hold on to the ball, too. All right, I misspoke. It is third and six now. And we need something big here. I'm looking at Webb again. Potentially Lake out there to the right. And Webb, I got you. There we go. John Webb, huge catch there. Brings us out to about the 45. 20 for 37, just under 300 yards for Teddy Mathis today. All right, yet another third and long. We are 6 for 12 today on third down conversions. And I got Webb out there again. Hold on to the ball. All right, second down and 10. It's another pass. And get there, Sims. Get there, Sims! Sims, let's go, man. You've got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. This is this man's fourth, and look at that. He breaks a school record. Four interceptions in a game. This guy is unreal. Let's go, and he brings it down to the five for us. Sims is on another level right now. This is crazy. And we've got Miller there, and we only gain a couple. All right, we're running a bootleg, and I've got Webb running the corner. I need you to do it. I need you to go. 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 This is going to come back anyway. Why'd you stop running the route? Damn. All right, second and goal from the 14, and our backup quarterback is in right now because our guy got hurt. He may have changed things up here. All right, let's see, uh, let's see what the backup can do. He's got Webb out there. Bro, hold on to the ball. You're on the goal line. Come on. You've got to be kidding me, guys. Come on. All right, third down and goal from the 19 now. I got them to jump off sides. That helps us out a little bit. Um, we need to come up with something here. Please, Lake, get it. There we go. Touchdown, Spartans. Let's go. Trying to get the crowd into it here. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, come on, man. Hands off the face mask, bro. Sims. All right, third and seven now. This is a pivotal stop here. We need to come up with a stop right here, right now. There we go. Drop the ball. Let's go, man. All right, so fourth and seven. They're going for it. We need, we need, need, need a stop. It is necessity. It is a necessity. And there we go. Who was that, man? Way to get your hands up in there. And we're just going to throw it away. There's a holding call. Fuck. Y'all have got to get better at that, man. Come on. Get it, get it, Mitchell. There you go, man. There you go. 
All right, guys, clock is going to wind down. Get the damn fours up, man. This is huge. We're down four with the ball starting the set, the starting the uh, the fourth quarter, and this is turning out to be a lot more of a competitive game than I anticipated. Um, you know, defense has off the bat they started out pretty shitty, but uh, they have really come up massive for us. Specifically, Charles Sims. That guy has to be player of the game. All right, third and three. We need it. We need it. We need it bad. John, get it. John, hold on to the ball. All right, we're going for it. We need it. We need to. We need to go for it. All right, here we go. Can't find anyone open. John, hold on to it. There we go. All right. All right, another massive third down play here. Here we go. No, I was throwing it, bro. Trying to get the crowd into it here. Come on, come on. All right, that's coming back. Boom. Bring it on back here. All right, third and 18. Big, uh, big third down opportunity here. We need it. We need it. Come on, boys. There we go. Green, green. You were right there. All right, you. Oh, all right, he was right there, but we make the big stop. That could have been a lot bigger, <laughs> bigger stop for us. But fourth and seventeen now. They got to punt this ball away. All right, guys. First down and ten. Three minutes, thirty-nine seconds left, and we need a touchdown to win this game. I think we can do it. Not like that. All right, third and ten now. We need to come up with something here. Oh, come on, baby. Come on, Mitchell. Mitchell! All right, defense, we need you to do it again. We've been relying on y'all here for the last couple drives, but we need it here. Oh, man, you were almost there. Good play on the ball. There we go. Star's there to make the tackle. Flag on the play. And it's a holding. Bring it on back. There are a ton of holding calls today. All right, second and 16. And someone jumped. Who was it? Yeah, walk them back. All right, second and 21 now. I have a feeling they're going to run. Glad. Oh, shit, they ran a draw. All right. Webb's there to make the stop right around the 40. All righty, third and 12. We need the stop. We need the stop. Come on now. Oh, they're just going to wind down time. Just trying to get the crowd into it. Come on. Can Sims do it? Can we come up with another? Go green, Your go! Soul is Let's, mine. Football. Let's go, Watson! Let's go, defense! Green with another massive sack and another forced fumble. Right when we needed it. All right, this is huge. We have the ball now. First and 10 on the 30. What's... Uh, all right, let's play it smart. Let's play it safe. Let's walk away with this dub here. Just over two minutes in the game. All right, first and ten. Here we go. Drops back on first down. All right, good hustle there from John, but we should have just let it drop. That was a loss of two. All right, again, a touchdown is, is what we need. We cannot do a field goal. We need a touchdown to win this game. No. Oh, my God. Where were you throwing it to? Oh, fuck. What did I even hit? All right. I guess that's not bad. All right. Third and 12. Oh, man. I I just said let's play smart. Pick smart plays. Lake. Hold on to the ball, guys. Come on. All right. Fourth and 12. This is pretty much the game decision right here. John, get it. John. It would be fucking awesome if the defense could come up with something again here, but, you know, this this game turned out not on their shoulders anymore. And that, that right there is pretty much going to do it. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for the game. I, I, I am so heartbroken by that. We had – we started out terrible – 
defense turned it around for us. Defense actually did all, everything that they could to set us up in a position to win this ball game, but the offense uh, just could not find their groove there late into the game, and we lose a heartbreaker 42-38 to to start out the season. All right, so looking at the stats here, we had more uh, first downs than them. They had us more in total offense. Um, we is, – is that right? 20 rushes for three yards? That doesn't sound right. Uh, we were – passing-wise, we were 25 for 55, three touchdowns, 336 uh, passing yards. We were 38% on third-down conversion, 66% on fourth down. Um, we were 100% in the red zone, as were they. They had six turnovers to our two. They lost two fumbles. We intercepted them four times. They intercepted us twice. Uh, only two yards punt return, 112 yards kicking re returning, uh, 453 total yards as opposed to their 595. And time of possession, we we doubled plus their time of possession. Mathis, again, was 25 for 55, 336 yards, three touchdowns for the day with two picks. Oh, I see what... All right, so Triplett was 13 for 31 yards. His longest was eight. But Mathis, they count him as rushing yards. He was four for negative 31. That's from the sacks. And then uh, Curry was two for four. Mitchell, one for negative one. John Webb's our leading receiver for the day. Eight catches for 83 yards. Uh, Zach Wheeler, six catches for 78 yards. James Curry, five catches for 51 and one touchdown. Uh, Jeff Lake, two catches for 65 yards, one touchdown. And Adam Mitchell, two catches, 29 yards, one touchdown. Uh, Chad Miller, one for one. And then uh, Triplett was one catch for 29 yards. Ben Griffin, our linebacker, leads the day with tackles. Six total tackles, five solo. Charles Sims, this guy, listen to this. Charles Sims, six solo, or excuse me, six total tackles, four solo, two uh, assisted tackles, and four interceptions. He broke the team uh, record in interceptions for a single game. Uh, Paul Green, had three total tackles, three solo. All of them were for losses. And he came up with three sacks, and I think he uh, forced two fumbles. Charlie Starr, two total tackles, two solos. Eric Watson, two total tackles. And he was the one, he recovered two fumbles, and he brought one of them 55 yards home for a touchdown. Andre McDonald comes up with a total tackle. Uh, Jeff McKinney comes up with one total tackle. Cole Webb, one, two total tackles, one solo, one for loss, one assisted tackle. Pat Hagan, one tackle. Rucker, one tackle. Gibson, three. Warren, one. Wheeler, two. Miller, two. Robinson, two. Nixon, one. And John Webb comes up with a tackle, two. Huffman, Kaysen, Weber, Pope all come up with assisted tackles. So what we learned is the offense, the skill is there on both sides of the ball. The skill is there, but um, we just need to be able to come up big on clutch uh, situations. Um, overall, I'm, I'm, I am happy with the play. I wish the offense could have come up with something at that last drive because, you know, they were four points away from winning this game, coming up with a massive comeback, but just uh, wasn't able to do it. All right, guys, so advancing the week, um, just seeing if anybody signed. They did not. I wasn't really expecting it. But, um, well, that's going to do it for the first episode of the rebuild here. Um, like I said, the skill is there. We just have to find a way to make it all work together. But uh, that's it, guys. If, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that like button. If you're new, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you guys watching this. Um, and comment below. Tell me uh, what you what you like seeing from the defense, from the offense, and um, let me guys know if you care about watching the recruiting process. Because if you do, I'll be make I'll make sure to implement that a little bit more. Um, also, I want to reiterate from last episode: if you guys are interested in being on the squad here for the Spartans, all you have to do is just DM me on YouTube, give me your information, your name, your number, position, whatever stuff you want, and then um, let me know, and I can get you into the game here. But guys, again, I appreciate uh, the views here, and we will see you guys next episode. I'm Captain Bridger, 
and we'll see y'all down the road. Have a good one, guys.